Hey, what's up, YouTube? This is Fleximan54 bringing you to video of my Tachikaze Clan deck that I've been playing with for a while, but I've not played with in the last two or three weeks. Um, because Carfight Vanguard is not the very popular up here, and when we do play Vanguard, it's just for fun. And I've been trying to test out new ideas for decks because, like, I'm kind of getting tired of sick and playing Tachikaze Clan decks. So, yeah, I'm trying to play other decks in my deck my deck boxes here. Um, they have proxies in them, so it kind of annoys my friends a lot. <laughs> um, but, um, yeah, I've been testing other decks, and I've been testing this deck for a while, and I like it, but I cannot wait till set 8 comes out, because, like, when it comes to, like, Nurokamu and, um, what is it called, Gold Paladin and such like that, I cannot keep up with them, so I cannot wait till set 8 comes out, so we get a little bit more support than most other decks. Well, like, uh, like any other deck, I mean, this is, like, the probably one of the older decks that has not gotten support yet. So I cannot wait. So yeah, this is my deck profile. I hope you guys enjoy. Um, if you see this video being played on two different play YouTube accounts, because you have one on my original channel, Fleximan Five Four, and then we have one. Then on another one is probably my team's um, um, YouTube channel, which we are trying to get more people to join and just tell people like, hey, we are serious players from Connecticut and Massachusetts, and we want you know make videos for you guys to, to enjoy. So if you guys see on both channels, say, just say, hey, go subscribe to Team KIA Elite, whatever. And please just, like, help us out, become, like, successful on YouTube and in the world, real world, in the real world, bleh. Um, your support and your love for us would be really, really appreciated. And, yeah, let's continue with the video. Yeah. <laughs> um, pretty much we got the Dragon Egg here. He's your main starter deck as of the set three. What he does is if you write a... Tachikaze Clan monster on him, move him to the back row, and pretty much if he's ever sent to the rear guard to the drop zone by any means necessary, you can pretty much bring it back to your hand by one counter blast, which is pretty nice because you don't lose a lose a lose a um, what's it called a starter, and you get a 10k shield right back to your hand. It's pretty cool. That's why I love this deck so much because you you can pretty much bring back everything back to your hand, or you just use it use the um, effect of them being removed. And of course, we got the four draw triggers. Yes, we only have four. Same thing that criticals, four criticals. Pretty standard. Um, then we get the four stands and four heals. Um, as a six, as a set three, I don't really. We only have this lineup for triggers. I cannot wait to set eight. Like I said. Hold on, I gotta sneeze. <coughs> I'm sorry about that. You too. I have allergies for some reason. <laughs> um, let me just explain something to you about this one trigger here. If he boosts his successful attack, you can soul charge one card and put it back right back to your deck. So pretty much you don't really lose a 10k, um, a 10, um, a critical trigger. You just pretty much boost, soul charge, and then put it back back to your deck. And then you can tap with your um, vanguard if you reveal this. Hey, look, you stacked. <laughs> so yeah, that's pretty much that's what that does. Um, then for the last of the grade zeros, we play two Shieldons. Because I do play three of the um, Blight Top Terror. Um, because A, because we're very limited what we can play for the deck since it's set three. And B, he's a nice 10k shield. He's pretty cool. I mean, I don't mind him. He's pretty nice. On to the grade ones. We have the four. Yeah. Four of the perfect shields. Again, we're very limited what we can play. There's not that many different grade ones. So you have to. I just kind of put in this guy here because he's better than most of the ones. We had in the set three, and plus, even if I don't have um, any other grade ones besides him, when I'm start doing my starting vanguard, um, grade one, um, evolving, whatever you want to say, I can just use one of him, and then I don't have to worry about the next three in the next deck. So I don't have to really worry about wasting the perfect shield when I got three more in the deck or one uh, other one in my hand. And next we got the four AK. Boosters, um, vanilla beats, I guess everyone says now. Just like Yu Gi Oh! you say vanilla beats for this deck. <laughs> He's just an AK beater. Big whoop. And then we got two winged dra dragon sky patera. What he does is it's an eight thousand it's a six thousand booster. If he's ever sent the root from the rear guard to the drop zone, counter blast one, bring it back to your hand. It's alright, you don't lose a booster, but at the same time, I rather have the um Dragon Egg better because it's a 10k shield compared to this 5k shield. 
But again, we're very limited on what we can play for set three. So yeah, let's just play those cars for now until we get the new um, Colonial stuff. Colonial Raptors, I cannot wait for that. And then for the last of the great ones, we play two Savage Warriors. Um, what he does is pretty much when a Tachikaze clan member is removed from the rear guard to the drop zone, um, pretty much he gets a 1,000 boost. So if he's in the back row, boosting the, like a monster in the field, and you haven't attacked with him yet, you use his effect, you, you haven't attacked with this row yet, and you use Death Time Rex to tribute to like a Dragon Egg or something, he gets an extra 1,000 boost. And plus you can get Dragon Egg back to your hand, and pretty much you can attack with a 7,000 booster instead of like a regular 6,000 booster, or a potential like 9,000 booster. So it's it's got potential, but again, I cannot wait to set, set 8 comes out. And then we got set, we got the grade twos. Oh, sorry, not set. I got the four vanilla beat sticks. Again, very limited we can play in this deck. So, four vanilla beat sticks. <laughs> Three of the cannon gear dragon thingy, whatever. I don't know how to pronounce his name. It's really long. Cannon fire dragon cannon gear. It's a really long name. Um, what he does is when he comes to the onto the field, anytime when he comes to the field. You you have to tribute a great uh, Tachikaze clan member monster or just one of your monsters in order to keep on the field. Basically, if you do that, you just get 11k beater. Just like Brutal Jack, you got count plus one. This one, you just tribute one of your monsters. And this is what pretty much the whole deck is all about. It's just tributing monsters and just getting effects off. Um, pretty much, if he's in the Vanguard circle, he gets plus 2,000 2, attack. So he's a thirteen potential 13k beater by himself. Um, wait, by itself, or do you need a... Nope, when it's boosted, sorry. When it's boosted by another Tachikaze clan, clan, he gets an extra 2,000 boosts. So he's a 13,000 booster, plus whatever it's in the back row. So he's pretty cool. I like him because of that. And then we got three... Sorry, the ba camera's bouncing so much, Jesus. <laughs> three of the Blighteras, like I said, because it complements with the shield on. And I play three of these instead of, like, two, because, like, if one goes to, to the drop zone, to the, um to the um, damage zone and I, I don't have another one then the extra shield on is going to be useless so you just play three of those two shield ons and then last of the grade twos you play one savage destroyer just like savage warrior he gets an extra 1000 boost for every monster that's sent to the graveyard um he's not that great just to let you know he's not that great that's why I played for um Hungry Rex instead because um Hungry Rex is a 10,000 beat stick um vanilla monster because he's he's a potential 10,000 beat stick but I I got like a poten I got like a potential 10k beat right there well anything well needed so it's either potential or an actual 10k beater so I've just played four of those and one of these and I guess it runs better on to the grade 3 so we play three of the Tyrant Defrex what he does is, if he's in the Vanguard circle, he gets a, 15, a 5,000 boost, no matter what. So if you don't have any booster in the back row, he's 15k right there. And if he's in the Vanguard circle and attack hits successfully, I think to any monster, right? Yep, to any any monster. So if it just attacks a rear guard and attacks successful, um, pretty much you, ha you have to retire a rear guard. So that goes complements with the Dragon Egg and the, comp the Blight Top Terrors and the other shenanigans you can do. So he's probably my favorite monster in the whole deck, because just because it was five thousand boost when he's in Vanguard Circle. And then we get the Chaos Dragon, Drag Dino Chaos, I guess. I don't know. Um, pretty much what he does is, if he's in your hand, you have a Gray Two. Um, you can reveal it to your, to your opponent and then Superior write it, and by tribute. And then, but the cost of it is you have to distribute two of your Tachikaze Clan monsters, which then again goes with the theme. You have to tribute monsters that get their effects off. So Blightop Terror and um, Dragon Egg and the um, Wing Dragon Scott Patera work well with this card, especially like during the first two turns. You get a great three right away, and you get Twin Drive right away too. So it's pretty nice. And then for the um, the next two great threes we play, because again we're limited, and it's, this is the only thing we got from set three, is the gig, the hung, Ravenous Dragon Giga Rex. What he does is pretty much, he's the same thing as Savage Destroyer and Savage Warrior. He gets an extra 1,000 boost for every card destroy, um, Tachikaze Clan Monster destroyed during your turn. Um, he's alright. I like him. Just because of the Twin Drive and you get an extra Grade 3 in there. But again, after set 8, I'm going to take him out and just put some of the more, uh, more newer stuff in there. Because like, I need some of the newer stuff. 
So anyway, this is my Tachikaze clan deck. Um, it may seem like a bunch of crap compared to most decks now. <laughs> but um, then again, we're kind of limited to what we can play here because of the um, the sets haven't come out yet. So we have just a deal with it. So this is my Tachikaze clan deck, and I hope you guys enjoy it. And remember to rate, subscribe, comment below. And remember to rate, subscribe, comment below to the Team Elite KIA YouTube channel. And I hope you guys would subscribe to that channel because like, we are about to get more material on there, and we're actually trying to get more videos on there since I will be actually the um, filmer for Connecticut maybe because like my friend Dark Honest 127 tried so many times to film stuff but he just somehow cannot you know upload it on, on our channel so I have to do it for him <laughs> most well most likely it will because like you know he's having so much trouble with the camera and uploading stuff on YouTube I have to do it myself so anyway this is Flexi Man 504 signing off to you guys and I hope you guys enjoyed this video peace